Okay, we're live. This is going to be pretty exciting. Good morning. This is Greg Blurry, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Uh, today, uh, as IoT area continues to grow and the maker area continues to grow here in the United States, I'm pleased to talk with Taylor Dawson, uh, G Appliance Engineer, a uh, Product Manager, and uh, he's going to introduce uh, this uh, thing they just created at GE called the First Build Community, and we're going to talk a little bit about a, a new product and an SDK called Green Bean, which claims to allow you to hack your GE appliances. So this is going to be neat. So quickly, a little bit about Taylor. He's been with GE since 2010, and a GE appliance engineer and product manager and first build product enthusiast. So and so anyway, good morning, Taylor. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, here on Nerd Soccer live from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. From my iPhone here in Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. <laughs> That's right. So this, I think, this is going to be our first iPhone uh, interview, but this is going to be cool. They must have really high bandwidth at first build. So um, they do. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, you want to tell the Nerd Soccer audience anything about yourself that I left out? Uh, I think you pretty much covered it. I've been in product development for about ten years, and I joined First Build about six months ago. Kind of one of the early founding members of First Build trying to define what the vision is of open innovation and how we can uh, interact with an open community of people to bring new products to market. Um, our vision and my vision has been, after 10 years in a corporate environment, I'm really excited to get out of that environment because what I found through product development was I wanted to be as close to the consumer and the community who was going to experience my product as possible. And in a corporate environment, that's just nearly impossible in the, as an engineer. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's pretty tough, especially uh, with a company that has probably a long history of uh, how to do things. So, <laughs> but but anyway, let's 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 move on to this. This is a, has to be a first. I, when I saw this on a press release, and I was talking to your publicist, I was going like, this has to be a first. So let's talk about you know this new product called Greenbeam, which is kind of like a a board SDK environment to allow you to hack or access your GE appliance, right? Yeah, so um, Green Bean, as far as I know, is a first, particularly for the appliance industry, but you know, it's, it's doing a lot of firsts for any large industry. So what we've done is we've created not only an SDK, but it's a, the Green Bean is actually a little circuit board that bridges between your computer or your Raspberry Pi or any sort of control device and a um, refrigerator or uh, washer or dryer or a range. So it, what it allows you to do is create new software applications for your appliances, and it does so on a number of levels. So there's there's a very a kind of superficial high level, and then there's a really low level. The higher level basically allows you to access existing algorithms. So if you want to cook something at 350 degrees for 20 minutes, you can just use a cook uh, function, say cook for three at 300 degrees for for 30 minutes or whatever you want to do. But then you can actually go a level deeper and actually control a heating element or control a fan or a motor. Um, you, you, we really give you access to all of the control systems. And then the other cool thing about it is since you're controlling through, from a Raspberry Pi or from a computer, you can actually plug in new input devices and you can create entirely new hardware applications. Uh, and we've seen a lot of different applications. So on our on our website at firstbuild.com, community members have uh, done everything from like creating a dog bowl that self refills when your dog um, licks it, licks the water, um, all the way up to like um, someone created um, oven that scans a barcode of your food and then sets your time and temperature for you. So, so wow, that's pretty interesting. So, so what are what you know? I, I, what what is your favorite use case that you've seen out of this so far? I think the most elegant and interesting use case is actually a really simple one. Um, out at the AT and T hackathon last in Las Vegas uh, about two weekends ago, I think it was. One of our someone actually came up with an application for laundry where, through the Android Wear platform, it. Um, your laundry, your dryer sends a message to your smartwatch and it tells you that your laundry is done, but then you can talk back to your smartwatch and say, keep my laundry fresh and I'll keep your drum spinning. So while you're away, it keeps your laundry fluffed and then you come back home and it knows you're back home and Whoa. It stops. So, That's I mean, it's crazy. a simple application and it's kind of crazy that no one came up with it before, that no one's, that no manufacturer has released anything, but the reality is that people who are makers and hackers have these applications and, you know, it's, uh, they can you, you can make something like that in a matter of a day. You can try it out, and then you can upload the code. You can share it with the community, and people can 
really try it and we'll find the most valuable interesting applications and those those applications will take forward and make them into a product and people who are community members will be able to see their products you know, out in millions of homes. Well, it's pretty exciting for the makers as well as uh, other other innovators who are out there. So let's talk about this first build community that you guys are have created and you know, tell me a little bit about the genesis of how that got thought about and created. Yeah, the reason why we created First Build was mostly about trying to get innovation to come to market a lot faster. Um, if you look at the amount of time it usually takes us to, to launch a new product as GE appliances, you're looking at anywhere between three and four years when you take all of the uh, market analysis and all that stuff into account. And um, it's, a, it's a great process. It has resulted in a lot of good products coming out to the market. Um, we feel like at GE appliances... Um, we were, customers were generally very satisfied with the products that we made it made, excuse me, made. But yeah. um, we wanted to be able to just get more turns at the crank. So we <laughs> created first build so that we cr could first launch products quicker, but then also just launch a lot more products, get them out there, let the market validate them, and then the products that were the most valuable, interesting applications we would take to market. Oh, that's so cool. So, like, um, you know, you said you have this iPhone around here. Why don't you take me around that first build uh, makerspace? <laughs> I, sure. I'll show you a couple that. things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can turn it around, so I'm just going to flip it around like this. Okay. So make sure you can see. But uh, up here in the front, we've actually got some community members in here right now. Um, so we've got our product space. You see there the smart picture concept. Oh, I think wow. You can probably see that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So this is our product showcase. A couple of our products are actually out. Uh, we had some exhibitions this week, so you can't see everything. But the smart pitcher is a pitcher of fresh chilled water that's always full every time you open up your refrigerator. So you look in there. Um, you can <laughs> see a dock. You can see the pitcher. And so what happens is you slide the pitcher in. It waits five seconds, then it fills it all the way up to the top. That's crazy. That's neat. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and this next one is called the Easy Load Oven Drawer. So it's a double oven range. You can see there's two doors on that oven. Mm. And the top drawer, instead of just hinging out, actually slides out. I'm not sure if you could see that. but Yeah, yeah that's cool. So uh, these are the type of applications where people... Um, come into our space and they see them and they're like, why did this not happen before? And the answer I usually give is that we're focused on generating ideas and then just rapidly making it and trying it out. Mm. And um, if you don't make it, then you're never going to see if it's something that people like. It just exists as an idea on a sheet of paper. Yeah, so, I, think uh, I, yeah I agree with you there. I think uh, one of the things that um, at least you know I see here in San Francisco and you know, you know we're, we're arguably a tech hub but you know I think there's a lot of hubs like what you guys are creating there in Louisville Kentucky as well but you know I think um, you know putting something together with glue and tape really kind of proves out the idea first before you go to product is not a bad way to go actually so the other thing that we do here is we invite anyone to come into our space and see it so this is our community welcome desk hopefully you can see that well yeah 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 um, so here's where a community member would come in, get a badge, uh, and then they can become part of our community and come in and just help you know, see what we're doing, prototype it, experience some of the cool innovations that we're working on. And then you'd come in here and scan your badge and then come through the door. That's cool. All right, and this is our first build lab. This is where we build prototypes oh, of neat. our products. So you can see we got a couple people it looks like there's some projects actually going on right now. Got a couple people who are working on building stuff. Uh, Tomas is over here working on the MakerBot. Hey guys, hi. say hi. This is Greg. He's with NerdStalker. Hey Greg, how are you? We're actually hey. we're actually live. Oh, we're live. Audience. San Francisco, yeah. California. We're printing tchotchke for our Maker Fair. Cool. This is Amelia and Tomas. Hey. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> Welcome to NerdStalker. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we use tools like MakerBot because they're low cost and they're quick and effective. So we're able to make a whole lot of yeah. Oh we're, we're able to make a whole lot of uh, prototypes really quick. Oh Easy to God. use. 
And then we've got um, a bunch of pretty very capable tools like this laser cutting system. Uh, laser cutter can cut wood, metal. Uh, this one doesn't do a lot of metal, but it does. I think it has a few metal applications in plastic. Um, and then back behind us, through these windows back here, you'll see a whole host of very capable tools. This is our fab plant. So this is where we'll actually fabricate parts that will go into our products. So we've got a CNC router, CNC mill, CNC lathe, uh, and then a whole bunch of uh, tools that allow us to bend sheet metal, uh, form sheet metal, uh, a lot of wood tools. And then back behind us, and I won't take you back there because I can't get back there right now, we've also got our build floor where we actually build physical products that we will make and sell to community members and early adopters who want our products. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Well, God, this is such a great tour. I don't think we've ever had a tour on NerdSlogger like this. So this is so cool. I appreciate this. Wow. Um, wow. So so well, let's talk about the First Build community real quick. So so it's it's open to anyone who is interested in, in working with you guys on, on appliance innovations or appla innovations through the appliances, right? Yeah. Um, Matt, Matt, yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, we decided when we want, decided that we wanted to do this innovation thing and try and make stuff quicker that one of the best ways to do that is get people who are really passionate about a product or a technology involved. And so that's why we reach out a lot to the maker community because uh, makers are highly aware of what's going on in uh, the upcoming technology. And they're also passionate about finding ways to apply it in their everyday life. And we thought appliances was a perfect place to do this because it's something that, you know, it's it sometimes feels like it's a category that's getting a bit stale, but in reality, it's something that we experience on an everyday basis. And there's a lot of cool things that just haven't been done. Uh, right now, we've got a bunch of our community members who are getting really excited about sous vide pre precision cooking. Um, I'm not sure if that's something that the nerd stalker community knows much about, but it's a really great way for people to make uh, just perfect steaks that's, you know, restaurant quality right at home, and it's super easy. So wow. um, we've, got a, we've got a community that's excited about that. Uh, we've got a community that's excited about um, inventory management applications for refrigeration and how you could leverage some of the existing APIs up there to either, you know, have voice control um, or, uh, you know, use other cool technologies like um, optical um, object recognition from cameras and stuff like that to recognize what's in your refrigerator. Um, and then there's just a whole bunch of people who, now that we've launched Green Bean, who are excited that the connected home vision is finally going to come forth. And we think that a lot of the reason why Green Bean is important is because something that's kept connected home from happening is just having uh, so many different platforms that couldn't talk to each other. And now that we're opening, we're saying we'll be open, you know, create your own application, share them with the community. And we feel like... Uh, we're hopefully a vanguard in that sense that we're we're leading the way for companies to open up and say it's time to solve this connected home thing. Wow! Now I, I definitely I'm going to keep tabs on you guys. I want to keep up with you because I think there's a lot of topics in that area that I I hear here in San Francisco. Uh, one uh, security. Uh, the other one is you know access to information as you know from these smart devices while you're on a wireless network or Bluetooth. So anyway, yeah, we'll have to keep in touch on this. But uh, anyway, I, you know, we'll close off the interview, uh, Taylor, and I thank you for your time. Uh, wh how do people uh, get in touch with your community, get in touch with you, and start using GreenBean? So we've got a website, firstbuild.com. That's a place where anyone can submit ideas. But even cooler than that, it's not really just a crowdsourcing place. We call it co-creation. And what co-creation means is you can see everything that we're doing and you can give comments. And, you know, if you've got great ideas, um, you'll, you can come here to our micro factory and share them and actually uh, participate in a prototyping or a hackathon with us. Um, the other thing, if you're really interested in Green Bean, go to the Green Bean homepage, firstbuild.com slash Green Bean. Check out what Green Bean is. Um, we, we're selling it right now at a special introductory price of $20 really with the motivation of getting out there in front of people. And there's two other things that we're doing that I think your community, Nerdstock, would be really interested in, with Green Bean in particular. We're doing this thing called Green Bean Crate Hack. A lot of people don't have a GE appliance that's compatible. So if you're connected with a maker space or a hacker space that wants to start working with Green Bean, um, contact us at 
uh, let's see, I think it's CrateHack at FirstBuild.com. Just send us an email. Tell us what you, you know, what your thoughts are, and uh, if you've got a community of people who want to work on it, then we'll try and see if there's a way we can get you a GE appliance that's compatible so that you can share your concepts with us. And the other wow. thing we're doing, uh, for those who aren't maybe not connected with the makerspace, but you want to create or see some of these connected home applications, here at the First Build local facility, we're actually building what we're calling Green Bean Garden, which is a connected suite of appliances where people will be able to log in, uh, kind of share time on the appliances, and be able to actually physically see some of the, appliance, some of the applications that they've created. Wow, that's great. Well, anyway, I, I appreciate your time again. Um, so, uh, anyway, th and thanks for the tour. <laughs> I think that was a first on Nerdstalker Live. So, yeah. <laughs> that was well, really cool. We'll so, do anyway. this anytime, Greg. It was a pleasure for me. Okay, well, anyway, uh, that was Taylor Dawson, uh, product manager, appliance engineer, uh, uh, hacker, maker uh, for GE First Build, uh, allowing the makers to hack the, uh, their GE appliances. So this is Greg Gloria, a.k.a. Social Greg on Twitter for the Nerd Soccer Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks again. Thanks, Greg.